Okay. Finally, we're back. Welcome back. Thanks, Steve. And it's 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 not good to be back. We took a week off last week. WGBD was um, undergoing its big technological changeover, and so we were not here last week. Um, but we're back. The Radio Nowhere crew is back. Of course, you wouldn't know it uh, because there was no Radio Nowhere theme to start things off like there usually is at uh, the beginning. See, like that? Radio yeah. Didn't didn't hear that at the beginning. Radio Nowhere. Uh, and then if you were listening, you heard Dead Air. You heard a song start and then stop. Then you heard a song start again of a different song while the other song was playing. Yeah, so Doesn't first... The first pro- producer normally uh, take care of that stuff? And, well, we also need to figure out what... First of all, what songs did we play? Uh, we played Princes of the Universe, uh, well known to the Highlander fans. It was the TV show theme song. Yes, I mean, of all the Highlander fan out there, that is a very well known... And then we heard a cover of Fat Bottom Girls. Which was originally a Queen song. Right. Okay, here's the deal. It is Steve Stein's birthday. Well, the fifth was. Today's technically the sixth. Steve Stein, uh, producer, co-host of the show, is not here. And I'm, I'm, I'm coming in hot is all I'm saying here. Because all of this technical stuff, and Chad, I'm just going to tell you right now, if Steve... Uh, we're here. There's no way he would have let you play two Queen songs back to back either. So no. the fact that that Tackett, are you with me on that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got to sneak them in where I can. Well, no, but you're like these two need to be played back to back. The the only good thing about Steve, well, maybe not the only good thing about Steve not being here, but one of the primary good things about Steve not being here is uh, the lack of Debbie Gibson songs because you know he'd play the birthday card. I may play a Debbie Gibson song just because he's not here. Followed up with some Steve Winwood. You you're kind of on on notice with the two Queen songs right in a row. Cuz I thought cuz I saw what first of all that that cover of Fat Bottom Girls is Antigone Rising and it is from what album? It's from the Killer of Queen CD a tribute to Queen. And when you're like okay, I have two songs I want to play them together. I'm thinking, oh, maybe he's going to play, because I saw him bring that CD in. Maybe he's going to play, you know, a cover of We Will Rock You, followed by a cover of We Are the Champions, because those two are always played together on the radio. Like, maybe you're going to do something creative. Or I thought, after we heard Princes of the Universe, the original, I'm like, I don't know, maybe he's got a Princes of the Universe cover, and he's got something we can talk No. Just, you know what? I've got a couple songs that happen to be Queen songs I'm going to play. Back to back, though. If Steve was here, this would not happen. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. Where that, is Steve? That still may be, be a little generous statement. I don't know. I mean, so first of all... I, I will say real quick, I do not like the oh. fact that there are two monitors on the uh, the production room, because I can't see anything from this angle. No, it's it's ridiculous. I'm sitting across the table from Tackett right now. I can see... Which, by the way, this is Matt Donahoe. And Matt Tackett. And Chad Spray. And, and we're here without Steve Stein. And Which you would think would be a good thing. And given, it's, given his, his general level of workmanship <laughs> on, on producing the show, but apparently... Apparently he thinks he can take off for his birthday. And then on top of this, so I can look right over here at Chad Spray. Not the best sight, but still, at least we can make eye contact. And then Tackett, I look over... And Tackett's getting the same view. It, actually, his is even worse. Yeah, I have the back of the monitor. He's the back of a monitor. So I'm looking at a monitor, but hearing Tackett talk, it's like co-hosting with Max Headroom. Is <laughs> I heard a giggle from behind the monitor. I think Tackett liked that reference. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get too many Max Headroom references. You really don't? There's probably a reason why that you don't. but uh... Because we're, <laughs> we're probably... Reasons. Some of the last people to know. I've got our few people out that are listening. Who is Max Headroom? Is probably the question they're asking. Here you go, Ch- uh, Channel Nine, if you would. Channel Nine. There you go. What about Channel One? I can't see what we're talking about here. Uh, I'm trying to reach behind the monitor for you. For what purpose? Oh, okay. There you go. What are we doing here? Okay, so anyway, we are 
we're angry. We're angry at Steve. We're angry at the new setup of things. Um, because oh, wait. I'm sorry. I gave you the wrong one. Uh, if back. Steve was here... Okay, you know what, Max Headroom? Uh, this next song is for you. It's Radio Nowhere and WJBD. Huey Lewis in the news on WJBD. And a couple days off... Why did that start up? See, if Steve was here, he would have stopped that. Couple days off, Huey Lewis and the news. Huey Lewis and the news. A couple days off, and what are you doing? I can see you. That's I moved nice. over. Oh, good. You see half of me. <laughs> That's like Two Face. Before that, we heard uh, Max Headroom with "Art of Noise" and "Paranormia," because we're making all the Max Headroom references. And that flowed so nicely, it's almost like it was planned, even though it wasn't. Hey, I can actually see if we scoot. Although now it's kind of cramping my style here. I've, yeah, it's a little closer to, I, than I've, I'd like to be. Yeah, it, well, yeah, but if I'm going to look at you, I have to... Rotate it. A this, is, this is a fantastic discussion about uh, a, visual, uh, a visual reference that does not play at all on radio. So... This is a fantastic uh, anecdote. It's a waste of an anecdote now. It's a waste of an anecdote for our listeners, for us. But still better so than car talk. Still better. With Steve. No, I, I don't know. Where is Steve? You know what? Let's find out. Let's see. I was going to ask if we wanted to. Uh... Good job. Thanks. See, Steve usually sets the phone stuff up, too. All right. Let's see. But t- tone it down before you hit the numbers. Why? Because someone might be able to hear the numbers and figure out. You know, the two people that are I, listening might, might be technologically uh, uh, so I, savvy and watch prank call Steve. I tell you what I'm going to do. Of course, just, the two people who are listening probably know Steve, so I have I'm, his number already. I'm just going to give uh, his number out and people can call him and wake him up because I think Steve needs to be punished here. So here we go. I didn't have his number, so hold on. Here we go. <laughs> well, I did. I just don't know it. It's just in my phone as Steve. So it's his birthday. Well, it was. It was his birthday. I just dialed the wrong number. Sorry, whoever that was. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Bl- blame Steve Stein. Someone's going to go, I got a call from the radio station. I wonder if I won something. Yeah, 12.20 in the morning? No, nah, probably not. Probably that Radio Nowhere crew. They don't have their producer. They're really not doing a good job tonight. Wow. Right, here we go. It's going to go over well. Uh, we're going to get his voicemail. I'm not calling oh, his wait. home. I'm calling his cell phone. Cell phone. Oh. It rang. It rang. That's good. Oh, that's two. That's three. Hey, it's Steve. I'm unable to answer your call right now, but if you'd leave, a, leave a voicemail, I'll get back to you. Thanks. At the tone, please record All your message. complaints, correct. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Where are you? It is 1225. 1225 in the morning on Sunday, and we are trying to do a radio show, and you are not here. At least Funky had the decency to come up here and fall asleep in the corner again, Steve. Oh, and happy birthday. I... No, I'm not even going to say that to him. We're here. Um, I'm here. Tackett's here. Funky's here sleeping in the corner. Chad's here. And Chad, you know, does not drive after... 2 p.m.? After, well, I was going to yeah, say, like 2 p.m. hardly ever. Hardly. And if you've ever seen him on the road, you know he didn't drive all, at all. So. <laughs> so where are you, Steve? Where are you? Your birthday was technically yesterday. You're the one who always says that this show starts at... On Sundays, you have no excuse, and you need to be here. Guys, back me up on this. Yeah, uh, Steve, yeah. I blame you, unless you're still stuck going left. He was racing. To, I even saw on Facebook, he was because you know he does the, the remote control we car. still leaving a message? I think so. Okay. Yeah, this is all. It's going to be the longest uh, message ever. That's fine. I hope it takes up all He's his. He's probably going left, eating pink cookies, not sharing as usual. Not sharing. Or lying about having pink cookies to little kids. And, uh, <laughs> and he, he, he was on Facebook talking about how he was racing earlier. So you know what, Steve? Um, I hope you, uh, you're having a good time because you've just ruined your birthday for us. But stay away. I got to play two Queen songs back to back. No, we, 
need you. Okay, I don't want to get carried away. We would prefer you. I don't know. Happy birthday. So, back into more music with Heather Nova, Walk This World on WJBD. Heather Nova, not to be confused with the superhero Nova from Marvel Comics, I believe was once a herald of Galactus. Is that correct? I believe, or also not to be confused with the character Nova from the acclaimed film Sharknado. Ah, I see. Nor to be confused with a Chevy Nova. Ah, or not to be confused with uh, the actual astronomical phenomenon uh, of a star going uh, Nova or Supernova. Walk this world on Radio Nowhere here on WJBD. A lot of confusion. There is because um, because of uh, there's confusion because Steve's not here and the whole show has just derailed. And now it's time to do weather. Time for weather with Steve. Oh, see, okay, that does it. We're calling him again. Two for two on that. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say you've been laying it on thick tonight. Wow, I I would love to see you come run this board, <laughs> Chad. <laughs> what would be our last show of Radio Nowhere? The weather forecast. <laughs> oh, Steve, what's the weather? Steve, I'm unable uh, to call right now, but if you'd leave a message, I'll get back to you. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Now it's time for weather with Steve Stein. Okay, I'm Steve, and I'm saying that uh, today... Uh, being not my birthday anymore, as in Sunday, since my birthday was yesterday, and I should be at the show. It's going to be uh, have a high of 59 degrees with a chance of precipitation of 90% going into tonight. Sunday, again, my birthday being over, uh, low of 45, precipitation 90%, and then looking ahead to Monday, the chance of rain continues, um, high of 50, and with a precipitation Chance of precipitation of 90%. I'm Steve Stein, and that's weather on my not birthday. All right. So, um, there's there's the weather for you. Now, uh, we are getting ready to play a song that needs a little bit of a backstory. Chad, would you like to tell this story? Um, at this point, I vaguely remember it's a song that I kind of latched onto. Uh, it's not real well known. Or at all. It's... Uh, <laughs> Titled "Killed by a Flower" by and the artist is uh, Billy Mann. Okay, Billy Mann uh, actually was famous for a lot of other hit songs. Like, yeah. So no, the other side of the story is um, Chad got hooked on the song. This is back from what year is that? Do you have it on the disc there? Ninety six. Ninety six. So of course this would have been pre internet days, pre smartphone days. So you couldn't yes. just look up the lyrics right. easily. So if you hear a song on the radio, you just have to wait for it to come cycle up again. Back. Yeah, cycle back again. And this wasn't a a big song really at all, was it? I mean, was it any kind of a not at all. No. <laughs> so so he he's constantly asking us, There's a song. And I don't know who sings it. But and I don't know the title. I don't know the title, but the lyrics are like, I got kicked by a flower or killed, right? Yeah. And you couldn't decide? Is that part of what yeah, it was? Like, I couldn't just because neither one of them really made sense. Yeah, neither were like, kicked by a flower sounds stupid, but so does killed. <laughs> I, and it was just, you're making that up. Yeah. No. And, yeah, so we thought you were insane or just making it up because there's no way for us to check. And I will tell you. I don't know that I ever heard the song on the radio. I, I, I can't tell you if I've ever heard this song. And I think you're the, about to. I think the only thing that see every every week at the radio station we used to get discs of all the new releases, and then the songs that were popular obviously would get put into rotation back when things were sent out on CDs. And I think the only thing that saved you was the fact that you were going through the WJBD archives oh, and yeah. found that here it is and. It's been found. Now, here's a question. We we found this again in the WJBD vault, deep in the vault. Yes. Steve and I were excavating through 
past couple weeks. Which, just real quick, I must brag, the reason the vault is in the condition it's in, right here. Chad? So you're to blame. Oh, Tackett. Yes, yeah, Tackett did a good job of putting the vault into such pristine condition. But, Chad, here's the thing. When was the last time you even listened to this song? In full, you know, it's five years of being kind. I mean, a decade ago to put it at 2000, I mean, we could be talking a decade. I've heard, like, maybe a snippet, like the first maybe 20 seconds, but in its entirety. Where would you have heard that? <laughs> you, <laughs> a actually, oh, a please. while back, just like, hey, look at this. But it was, like, maybe 20 seconds. So probably going over a decade for this lost treasure. So here's the thing. Do you think you're still going to like this song? Ah, uh, <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> All right. Well, intro it. Here you go. And remember, end with on WJBD. Here you go. Do it. Here is Killed by a Flower by Billy Mann, Radio Nowhere on WJBD. Not bad. I really like that song. I really do, too. Eh. You've never heard it before, Chet. Uh, they had a video, too, if I remember. Mm-hmm. That and tell us who that was. Uh, that was the refreshments mm-hmm. with banditos, and the refreshments are also known for what other, uh, not necessarily song, but musical piece that they put together. Don't know. I would shake my Ass. head, but this is radio. King of the Hill theme song. Really? Oh, yep. That's. That's I hated Peggy Hill. Oh my gosh. Oh. Could not stand her. Moving on. This is Matt Donahoe, Matt Tackett, <laughs> and the Peggy Hill hating Chad Spray. That's correct. Of Radio Nowhere. And Tackett's got Tackett's got a topic. He told me I can't I, yell about Steve not being here anymore. Yeah. Well, I, I just thought, you know, we at least ought to give him a, a few minutes of space. Respite. And what, what our fans and our listeners don't know is that I was also yelling at him the entire time all those songs were playing. So, Sadly enough. So, okay, Tack it. Take it away. So, so here, here's what I was, uh, I, I think I even mentioned this earlier. So, um, you know Gary's here in town. Now Chuck's. Now Chuck's. Yep. They've, they've got a brand new burger, which this is not a plug for them, although if they wanted to bring us burgers sometime, I'm sure we wouldn't mind. But... Um, it's called the Brutus, and it's bigger than the Wimpy. Because they've got one there called the Wimpy, named after Popeye character Wimpy. Correct. And this is new. And this is a new burger. It's called the Brutus, and it's three-quarters of a pound burger. Have you had it? I have. Oh, it's really nice. Okay. It's got two types of cheese. It's got like a lettuce and pickle and tomato and onion and uh, I think mayonnaise and ketchup. But I didn't get mayo or ketchup on mine because I'm not a big fan. And then it's also made with sriracha, there, that uh, rooster sauce, that hot sauce. Really, and, really hot. And it's yeah. not, and, and, and it's good. It's and I like hot stuff, so I'm not usually a good judge. But you know, it was you could taste the flavor of it, but it didn't really seem like it was really spicy by any stretch. You're saying from what we talked about that it's cooked into it somehow it's, instead of being like, like a condiment. Right. It seems it. like that's what what's going on. So we we were uh, myself and a few coworkers over there. And one of the guys who has done all sorts of crazy things um, for ridiculously low amounts of reasons. Uh, at one point, he, he he's made a when it snowed one time. He went out into the the uh, yard, took his shirt off, went out in his boxers, in fact, and made a snow angel in okay. the yard. Okay, and and he's. He's a fairly hairy individual. So, are we talking about Steve again? I was I was going to try and <laughs> try to avoid that, one that out. But so, so what's his, so, his so Brutus burger? He he said while we were sitting there, he goes, "I bet you I could eat five of these." Okay, no, wait a minute. It's how big of a burger? Three quarters of a pound patty, okay, pre cooked so, weight. I'm sure. So, so just the patties, three quarters. So yeah, so that, five of those would be three and three quarters pounds of would be. Let me think. Three and three quarters pounds. B, 15 quarters. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of quarters. That is. So, so w- that would be almost $4. <laughs> <laughs> so we went back and forth on 
<laughs> whether that was even reasonable. And he said, next week or next time we meet, let's do this. And we said, fine. So the bet is that in 90 minutes, he can eat five of these burgers. And if he wins, guess, guess what he's going to get? You guys pay for his meal. We pay for his meal and give him $5. That's not even a bet. That's... <laughs> And most eating challenges, the time limit's an hour. I'm right off the bat going to say no. I mean, 90 minutes, no. You have no room to talk. <laughs> if you're you have show no room up, to talk. kick in five bucks if he wins and yeah. pay for the meal, then we can talk about. But Why does Chad have no room to talk? Well, and, and, and then said, I brought, made me bring up the idea of that giant pizza over in St. Louis that you can you can get two people to eat for and win $100. I thought it was 500 And we're not Maybe plugging them either, but if they want to send us a pizza, that's fine, too. Right, and then then there's there's several eating challenges, and uh, you know in the quantity eating challenges, Chad Chad's not not fared so well. No, oh for one, tried to eat a four pound big Ethel burger, failed miserably. Which is up in Morton, Illinois, somewhere Morris? near Chicago. Morris, Illinois. I'm sorry, it's Morris, Illinois. I thought it was Morris. It's Morris by Dwight. A, yes, and there's a a truck stop there. I can't even remember the name of it that has a restaurant. Yeah. They have a four pound burger. And it's called the Big Ethel. Chad decided it'd be fine to eat all kinds of stupid snacks during the day and then try to eat a four pound burger at night and then could not and totally I blew it. I blew it hard. See, and you you could admit that now. Yeah, well, of course, because I got a notch back in my belt. I'm batting 500 in food contests now. Because at the time it was like, oh, this undercooked. And this didn't, well, I didn't like the tomatoes. This doesn't taste good. I didn't know there was going to be toppings on it. Uh, I'm going to blame. But l- let me add something that no. at, at least no. I tried the contest. I don't understand what that means. Uh, oh, the he's, person, going, he's going to get to that, I'm sure. The person uh, next to me talking about the pizza eating contest claims we can't do it. We probably could not We just need uh, another blown contest. You're the two but who couldn't get through the vending machine Olympics. Vending machine but Olympics. he won't even try. That's try what? Eat the pizza contest with me. How big's pizza? Oh, uh, nine or eleven pounds. I think it's eleven. I think you're right. I think it's eleven pounds. Because it's, it's an odd number. <laughs> yeah, but and it's it's it, it's ridiculous because because my I think because it's at least nine. Because I said you couldn't eat a four pound burger. How are you going to eat your half of a nine or eleven pound pizza? N- not to mention, how am I going to eat my half? I mean, that's not going to work either. You but. might not win, but go out firing. Don't leave any bullets in the gun. At least make the attempt. <laughs> I mean, take the shot. I mean, But see, okay, if, if we're going to talk about this, Chad, I think you need to get some hard truths uh, thrown your way. When you were doing the um, uh, vending machine challenge, mm-hmm. which for those of us just tuning in, that's when these two heroes tried to eat through an entire vending machine, like one, one, of one each, item of each, and not literally eat through one like a rat. But um, and Chad mm, decided that it, it would be a good idea to help wash every other uh, treat down with a soda, a, a, and a ended can up of having crush. yeah, a can of orange crush. How many of those did you have? Five or six. A lot. Probably a sixer. A lot. Yeah. And that's not helping. So I would be curious about your strategy for this pizza. You're like, first... Well, you have to have a pitcher of soda with the pizza. That's part of the rule. That, that's fine, because you're going to have to have something to wash it down. I mean, you... But here's the thing. But, but here's, a, here's what I'm thinking, Taggart. <laughs> Before we even get started on the pizza, I'm thinking breadsticks. You? <laughs> <laughs> a little salad? <laughs> what, what do you have in way of lasagna? Got some hot wings. And and do you want to brag about your hot wings? That's the one challenge you've done. So you're not actually... It, you're batting... I'm batting 500. Mm. I'm one and one. What about the vending machine? Uh, that's a team failure. All uh, right, fine. We'll give you... The, where's where's your win? Uh, the Buffalo Wild Wings challenge. The blazing uh, challenge. What was it? A dozen, dozen. in five, five or six minutes? Yeah, six, I six think. Six minutes because I got I came in a dozen at four fifty nine. So, and the the awesome story about that. There's a couple things. One, uh, we're not plugging Buffalo Wild Wings either. But if they wanted to bring us wings, obviously that would be them. fine as well. Oh, we would eat them on air. Any food oh. people want to bring us, we would eat on air. Let's make that very clear yeah. right the now. The food we we would we would not eat the people. No, I no. It's, mm. oh. um, but <laughs> depends on how hungry we were. But two. Chad had been living in shame with this whole 
eating the big Elf, not being able to eat the big Elf mm-hmm. burger. So he took on this hot wing challenge at Buffalo Wild Wings, and if you win it, you get to buy a T-shirt that says, "I um, survived or passed or I ate the, the blazing wings." And Chad, tell us about your T-shirt that you proudly wear. Uh, it's an invisible T-shirt. Why? Uh, Partially because they didn't have the T-shirt at the Buffalo Wild they, Wings. I believe they were sold out, right? They were sold out, yeah. So I wouldn't actually say partially. I'd say very specifically. Uh, they didn't have it. Yeah, they didn't have it. So he doesn't even have a trophy for that win. That's that, that's all right, though. I'm, I'm, I'm one for one. And I'm, I'm, one, I'm one looking for, two, for a partner to go after the pizza. Because granted, Luke. like I said, we won't do it, but for 500 bucks. Let, let's give it a shot. Let's uh, give it a shot and maybe fill up on milkshakes beforehand. There's that place you can do the milkshake challenge over in St. Louis first. You can do six milkshakes. Would love to do that one. If I believe, though, we discovered coffee milkshake was one of the flavors, and that's going to be a tough one. You're like, oh, there's no way I'm eating that. An 11-pound pizza, sure, I'll split that with somebody. <laughs> what do they put tomatoes on the pizza? Game over? No, this is for cash. B- bring it on. But, but pride... I, 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 What's I'll, that? I'll see if Vic will ha- come with you. If he can put down these five burgers, I'll, I'll hook him up with you. No, no, I'm, I'm taking no help pizza. from you. You're my partner in most stupid stuff we do, and you're bailing most? out. <laughs> so, okay. speak so, no. Speaking of bailing out, um, our listeners, I'm sure, did 55 minutes ago, but we are getting ready to do the same. Oh, so, already? Already, yeah. I mean, time flies when you're yelling at Steve, as the old saying goes. <laughs> I have that tattooed across my back in old English font. Learn something new every night. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a new... Again, there's been a lot of imagery tonight <laughs> for a radio show. And none of it good. None. So, uh, Matt Donahoe. Matt Chad Dacca. Spray. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. If you like what you heard tonight... Tell a friend. If you don't like what you heard, call Steve. Leave a message. <laughs> Partly cloudy skies and fairly light subbies. Fairly winds throughout your early morning hours. We're on our way to a low near 36 degrees. Sunday love and abundance of sunshine. I was climbing into the upper 50s to near 60. Wind subbies, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday night it becomes mostly fine. Rain becomes likely after midnight. Lows fall into the 40s. Rain continues to be likely throughout Monday with a high of 50. With the WJBD Weather Eye Forecast, I'm meteorologist Phil Jensko. Right now it's 37. The severe weather continues today in much of the middle.